From new frameworks and innovating processes to the best practices and global relationships built through IT, the basic understanding we have of IT was lost at some point in time, and the definition became quite blurry. Stephen Flowers, 1988, defines IT as the application of computers and telecommunications to the collection, processing, storage, and dissemination of voice, graphics, text, and numerical information. IT's flexibility to be worked with any kind of discipline has allowed it to be the cornerstone of the 21st century. This has led to create highly specialized teams to fill in the need of managing the input and output of information, generating a hunt for talented IT professionals. Vincent Nolte, I hope I'm pronouncing it right, studied the relationship between IT and the management processes to understand what exactly leads companies to struggle with the implementation of IT. The bad implementation of IT have all something in common. Employees were burnt out by resisting the changes to their old but familiar practices. This has driven recruiters, managers, and executives to focus on two particular practices, in-house recruitment and IT outsourcing. In-house recruitment, it's an internal team of talented professionals whose work tackles their IT needs. Commonly an in-house team that focuses their efforts on employee support and implementation. They take care of all the technical aspects of the company. IT outsourcing, an external team that can be located anywhere in the world, and these teams are commonly deployed for more technical and talent exhausted endeavors. It is also a cost-effective method, as a company can outsource IT talent to a region with fewer costs. Companies are always dealing with the needs to overcome a task that are constrained by the huge amount of data and short response times. The needs to acquire capable hands to accommodate these high traffic functions are the driving force behind outsourcing. As you can already deduce, there are two main approaches to IT, in-house and outsource. Now, allow me to introduce a third one. Let's say you already have an in-house IT team. Now imagine a new project that requires all the manpower of your IT team. And now you're desperately looking to integrate new talent into your team to accommodate the new project. Does this sound familiar? Certain projects that require extra hands and talent is where outsourcing IT comes to play and why most IT strategies are willing to annex outsourcing into standard procedures. Now, what outsourcing models are best for you? Number one, offshoring. This term refers to acquiring a new team or company outside of your boundaries of your own country or nation. Offshore tends to be an operative process that creates a leverage system for big tasks that is both cost and time efficient for the company. This approach is extremely popular because of its potential to tap into other nations' talent and reduce expenses in labor. Two, nearshoring. The main characteristic of nearshoring lies in the location. The location in these regards is chosen to acquire talent to help you with your outsourcing projects and is focused in neighboring countries and regions. This creates an environment where speed, communication, and accuracy are far better than the traditional offshoring service. Time zones issues becomes a non-factor with nearshore. Three, reshoring. It refers to the practice of transferring a business or operation that was moved overseas to the country where it was originally relocated. Four, staff augmentation. Staff augmentation is considered a strategy to respond to specific business objectives. These objectives are dealt with talented teams of individuals that can bring value to an end result. This approach is highly recommended for any company executives looking for breathing room. Key operational activities can be given less focus so that more focus can be given to strategizing. But remember your macroeconomics. If you're a manager or executive, this may be of second nature for you. But even so, you need to look at every angle possible to create a successful relationship with your vendor. This means to take in consideration geopolitical risks, business risks, scalability risks, depending, of course, of the type of business and the countries involved. In conclusion, outsourcing is very much a necessity for any company of any size or industry when it feels that operations are not getting any better and there needs to be a shift in the company dynamic. IT outsourcing sounds like something that you could be doing on your own, but keep in mind that you can mix it up by hiring two or three talented in-house individuals that will fully understand and enhance your company. Then jumpstart the growth 
by using an IT outsourcing service, whether it's of staff augmentation or projects. The tech trends of this day and age are pushing companies towards this route. Don't be left behind and stay ahead of the game. Did you like this team? Are you interested in knowing more about it? How about knowing the advantages of nearshore and offshore by country? Then go to our blog and read the entire post. The link is down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe and share. My name is Mario Navarro and I'll see you in the next time. Bye bye.